people. I'm on a skateboard. Okay, so today we are doing a self-cut. Now, what I have for my haircut is a mohawk. So, it's like this on both sides. Now, I've never cut my own hair. So, this is going to be a learning experience for both you and for me. Hey, things you're going to need. A cape. I got my cape here. A comb. Any kind of comb. Some clips just to separate that kind of stuff. This kind of stuff. Yeah. That worked really well. You will need a set of clippers. I'm just gonna use my baby lace. My trimmers, my detailing trimmers. And for mine today, probably gonna use, yeah, we're gonna use a number one up here. So, number one guard. Hot. And a mirror, a handheld mirror. This is a goodie mirror, man. Like, you, any kind of mirror. Any kind of handheld mirror, you're gonna need something to see the back of your head when you get into like these areas and stuff. And I would say a spray bottle, just to have a spray bottle to get like the little hairs up and out of the way. Especially if your uh, hairs are a little shorter than what mine are. Okay, let's get started here. So I put up a poll on my Instagram of whether people wanted to see, <laughs> that's really cold, um, see me do a self cut or if they wanted me to see um, a buzz fade. And to me, I was just like, buzz fade's gonna be really handy, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? A lot of people are at home quarantining by themselves. So fair enough, I'll do a self cut. Either that or you guys really wanted to see me mess up my own hair. And I mean, either one is a good reason to pick those. <laughs> and because I haven't actually cut my own hair before, there's a very high chance that I might mess up my own hair. So. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with my sideburn. I'm going to take it off. I don't think I'm going to take it off, man. I'm attached to my sideburns. I love my sideburns. <laughs> so honestly, once you got it wet down, you might not even feel like you need to clip it. I'm going to clip back this back stuff just because I have less control back there. And I feel like I'm safer doing, doing that. <laughs> Huh, this is also going to be really weird because I have glasses, so <laughs> here goes, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. I can understand why people have such a hard time doing this and why you guys wanted a self-cut video. I pretty much always just start with the, the longest point at which I'm cutting my hair, which today is going to be the number one. I'm just going to do the number one up here and then I'm going to try and skin fade. I'm going <laughs> to try and fade that out. See how it goes. Here goes nothing. Here we go. We're just going for it. So the biggest tip I got for you is don't go too close. So I am going right to the line, I guess. So I'm going right to where my hair disconnects. But I'm going the same way that my hair is being pulled off into those clips. Because if you go straight up, you're more likely to cut off some of those hairs without trying. But if you kind of go into that a little bit this way, for one, this is a straight line. So if you go in this way, at least you're gonna be taking out a straight line. You're gonna be going just to that hairline, if that makes sense, or that, that point of disconnect of where your, your short hair meets your long hair. I'm moving my mirror up really high so I can actually see where to take that. Now, since I've kind of gotten to the part where pretty much where your ear is, that's where you can turn your head and actually see what you're cutting on the side. So I'm just going to turn my head a little bit and cut the rest on the side because it's easier for me to look into one mirror rather than look into two and then everything's backwards. Uh, 
So what I'm going to do, I have about, I don't know, like a half an inch back here that I've come with that one. I'm going to try and take it, like I'm basically just going to try and take this all down, excuse me, to a number one. going to be the difficult part for me because I have glasses <laughs> so it's going to be hard <laughs> Not that hard. <laughs> it's not that bad. I say no. She says now before the hair gets done. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so now this is a zero, this is a one. So I'm gonna go 0. 0.5, which is my half, the blade out, and I'm gonna go halfway. So this is where the zero ends, this is where obviously the one ends. So we're gonna go kind of halfway in between with that 0.5. And remember, if you've watched any of my other videos, oh my god, I cut off some of my sideburn. Oh! <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see uh, the flicking that I do with the fading. So important. So yeah, I'm going to take that 0.5 all the way around, just like about an inch or so above that zero. keep on moving these this blade in and out because in between where I've taken that 0.5 you can see that little shadow right there you don't want to go above that now with your whatever you're gonna mess around with in here because you know that that's a 0.5 and then this is a one so being able to just get this is all I'm trying to do is get rid of this line right here Alright, so pretty much faded all that out up until this line. There's still a little bit of a line there, but we gonna get that out. So with these clippers, I have a 0.5 guard. These have saved my life so much just because this line used to be the, one of the harder lines to get out because you have to go from that 0.5 into a 1. So where's that other half that I could use? Enter 0.5 guard. It's amazing. Changes your life. So if you got the five, point 0.5 guard on there, I would start at zero here and just start flicking out that line just a little bit. Just go up into it like the tiniest bit. And then you're going to start moving your blade out. And then a point 0.5 and a point 0.5 makes what? A one. So you'll eventually get up to the one. 
and that'll be that line that you can take out and you get a perfect fade. Your comb, the fine tooth comb part, just brush it over everything that you've kind of done. You don't need to like stab anything. Uh, I just combed out some of my hair. That's okay. Um, but the reason why you do this is to just get like all the little hairs that stick to the scalp and all that, get them off of there. Because sometimes, sometimes they can create a bit of a shadow that's not even there. And then you're like, oh, I'm cutting this. It's not working. It's not fading. I don't know why. That's because there's probably hair stuck on the scalp. You just need to get that off of there. That's all. So that's pretty much it. We faded the side. Done. Zero, two, one. I think that's not a bad fade. Ooh. One thing I did forget was the detailing around the sides with the trimmer. So all I would do is because you already have this at a zero. So being able to fade that in with these is really easy. Just don't go up too high. Like, don't go into your actual hairline too much, or else you're going to mess up the whole fade that you just did. You worked real hard on that, so don't mess it up with your trimmers. Don't go too high. Oh, I decided to take my cyber off. Guys, I took it too short. I just took it too short. It was weird. And then it looked like a little... You know how guys just like grow this little like flavor saver? That's what it looked like on the side of my head. It looked like I had a flavor saver on the side of my head. Not okay. So we shaved it off, guys. I know a lot of people that are going to be super happy with that. <laughs> but anyways, now you can actually see the fade really good too. So... There it is. Nice fade, all cleaned up on one side. Now I gotta do the other side. Okay. Oh God, I'm sitting on a skateboard, so it's a comfortable thing and I'm old, so it's not too easy being cheesy and greasy. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So this angle's just a little bit more intense, but at least you guys can see really, really well, I think. So we'll do this in 
a time lapse so that you guys can see it, but you don't have to watch the entire thing. <laughs> That side should be good. Hopefully. I won't know until I see this video. <laughs> this was more of a video to show you guys how to fade your sides on your own. This middle part should be even. Anyways, so I would just work on the sides. The sides is what bugs people the most and down here like on the neck and everything. So hopefully this helps. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any requests for videos, just put them down in the comments below or message me on Instagram, ask for my help. Please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my God. Oh, my knees. I should try and spike up my mohawk.